What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Merry Christmas to all of you. Thanks a lot for watching again. Today, I want to show you how I put the OEM grill back on, onto the H2. Um, I have got a few emails, quite a few emails from some of you. Hey, I know that you had the grill in there and you took it off to do the uh, plastic dip. How do you put it back on by yourself? Or do you usually get some help or what? On today's video, I'm going to give you guys an idea of how I do it. It may help you put it back on the H2, or maybe you bought a, a H2 that didn't have it because I've seen a lot of them on the street that don't have the grill on, and some people go ahead and buy the, the front grill on. I know it's kind of self-explanatory when you look at the holes that you have on the, uh, on the front grill, but how do you put it on by yourself or what techniques you use? I mean, it's not rocket science, but I just want to show you how I do it, and hopefully my video will help you guys tackle this uh, simple job by yourself. All right, so this is where all your six screws go. There are two that go on this side right here on the bottom of the grill, two on the other side, and then up here, you're gonna have one guy right there and another one over here. These two pieces right here go right on the first slot next to your headlight. Again, once you pick up the grill, it's gonna be kind of self-explanatory, but just want to point it out and then the two little brackets on the bottom there's one on this side and the other one right on this side again that front piece will automatically um will fit in there and then the other screw i'll show you where it goes but you have to pop the hood open if you're trying to toggle this by yourself usually you can just pick up uh, the front grill with one hand right in the middle just pick the middle of it pick that one up and with, um, with your right hand, you can go ahead and line up at least one of the screws on the bottom. All right, so as far as the screws go, you went ahead and bought your um, a grill of online or off of somebody and they just gave you a bag with screws. You're gonna end up with six screws. The four that are the same, um, the same thickness, these four are the ones that go on the bottom of the grill and these two are the ones that go on the back of the grill. So right here, these four are the ones for these brackets on the bottom and the thinner ones are the ones for the top. Now remember, if you don't feel comfortable doing these by yourself, please wait till you have somebody helping you out. It is way easier to do it with somebody else. The last thing I want you guys to, um, last thing I want to happen to you guys to have this front grill fall on your feet, um, it has happened to me and it's not fun at all. So do yourself a favor. If you picked up the front grill and you think it might slip out of your hands or anything like that, Put it down and wait till you have somebody help you out. Now, before you pick up the, the front grill, I want to show you a couple of things right here that's kind of important. Um, these right here, this is where your two um, screws go on that bottom bracket. When you pick up the um, grill to line it up right here, what's going to happen is that both of the brackets are going to touch in front of this plastic right here. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to pick whichever side you want Put the bracket in place right under the, the plastic and once you line up one side then you go ahead you move it towards the inside line up your other bracket and then push the grill all the way back lined up with this now the way i'm going to do it now is i'm going to take the grill with my left hand pick it up lined up one of the sides in my case i'm going to line up the right side and once I get it on the right spot, all I'm gonna do is I'm only gonna put one screw in there. Just screw it in at least about a quarter inch in. Remember the, the grill is heavy. So you want to you want to screw in enough so that when you let if you have to let go of that side of the grill, again whichever side you picked, because you might be, you know, it might be left-handed, then the grill doesn't fall on the floor, it doesn't fall from your hands. So. Remember, we're doing these by ourselves. Now, if you don't want to have the screws in your back pocket, what you can do is you can put, lay down two right here in this corner and lay down the other two right over here. Then go all the way to the firewall. Just put it kind of towards the middle. Because remember, when you pick out the front wheel, you're going to be lining up right here and you might go up and down and knock out your screws. Right. I got 
my passenger side lined up. Now picked up on the driver's side, and now I think I'm all the way in. Holding with this hand, let's go ahead, grab one of your screws, lined up the holes. Again, about a quarter of an inch in is good enough to hold whatever side of the grill you decide to do first. We'll do the same thing on the other side. That side is all done. Let's put the second screw on this side. And right now, at least you know that the grill is secure. Now, even if you had a, a electric uh, grill like I do, you don't want to screw these all the way in. And the reason why is because if you go ahead and tie them up, when it's time for you to open the hood and line up, the other two screws that we have left on the top bracket is going to give you a hard time. So whenever you tie this in, it's always a good idea to leave a little room in there because remember, we're going to have to line up the, um, the top brackets when we open the, the hood. All right now, so after we did the four screws on the front, remember don't tie them up all the way. Remember when you open the hood, the hood is going to be loose. So. See these right here? That's what's gonna happen. You're gonna come to the inside right here. And then you're gonna see, right where my finger is pointing at, there's gonna be a hole. That's where your top bracket is gonna be. If you can't see it in there, you'll see it now. When I tip the grill, you see these right here? It's loose, remember we didn't tie it all the way. Once you lift it, the top part you'll see you'll see the bracket coming right there see that just line it up with your top hole on both sides and once you line once you line that up you're gonna end up with your screw right there now there's there's a reason why I'm not putting let me see if I can show you the screw on this side there you have it see that now I'm not installing my grill back in. I only did this video because again, um, some of you were asking the question how I do it by myself. There is a piece, there is a little bracket that goes right here in between the uh, the metal bracket that comes from the grill and and this wall right here. Once you tie it up, that, that uh, plastic piece um, will fill the space right here on both sides. I'm not gonna pull my grill back on because I've still got a couple of things to do and the grill needs to be off, but I hope that this video give you guys a um, better idea of how to tackle this by yourself. Again, once you get them two screws on inside, secure where they go. If it needs a little adjustment, all you need to do is lift the grill like this, like I'm showing you guys. Again, it's not all uh, tied up, but if you lift the top, it'll give you more room for uh, these two screws right here to line them up and the plastic bracket will fill that space and you'll be all good to go. All right, so there you have it. This is what, what hopefully it's gonna look like when you're all set. Um, like I said before, I still got a couple of things to do so I can't leave the grill on. Um, but since I've got so many emails um, from you guys asking me how is it even possible to do it by yourself and I'll just show you it's a little bit of a trick when you're lining up the bottom brackets because like I showed you before right here when you line actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a close-up so you can see exactly what I'm talking about all right so right here this is your um, obviously looking at the truck from the front this is your passenger side this metal bracket from the grill goes it, it's it's about this long on both sides so obviously when you lift the, the uh, grill by yourself and present it right here it's gonna touch in the front 
and that's what I was saying earlier. When you hold the um, hold the uh, grill back up right here in front against this, you have to pick whichever side you want, and then basically move the grill to the side get underneath this plastic and then once you line that up then you go move the grill towards this side obviously underneath the plastic and then you'll be able to um to line up this side right here and then push it backwards once you manage to do that then it should be fairly easy to get your screws in remember um if you don't want to have your screws like on your backpack or whatever it's going to be a lot easier to reach if you lay them down right here, manage not to knock them out of the way. You lay both, um, two on this side, two on the other side. And that way there's one less thing to worry about. Um, I tried doing this a couple of times before I recorded it because I ended up knocking both of them out. So, it's up to you guys. All right, so there you have it. This is what, what hopefully is gonna look like when you're all set. If you happen to be interested in any of these lights, um, there are going to be links. There's going to be links in the description for um, for these lights. Like on every other video, I always leave the links for the for the lights and for the headlights too, just in case you're interested. Um, like I said before, I still got a couple of things to do, so I can't leave the grill on. Um, but since I've got so many emails um, from you guys asking me how is it even possible to do it by yourself, and I just show you. It's a little bit of a trick when you're lining up the bottom brackets. I am planning on doing uh, another video to show you guys how I wire this guy right here and these two guys up front. I know there's an older video on the install, but I didn't think it went into details. And after I took the grill off to do a couple of things, I decided that I might want to reroute all these cables um, in some other way. So there will be a video coming up and how, how I wire these um, these three lights up front. Again, thanks a lot for watching. Merry Christmas, and as always, we'll see you guys in the next video.